Can we try, for the love of God, to keep the mess down? Laundry ain't cheap. Let me start my video. There we go. Ah, <laughs> look Yay. at this. It's a love fair, fair farm reunion. I did it. I know. <laughs> Well, greetings from Las Vegas. How are you ladies doing today? Great. Doing good. How about you? I'm doing good. I'm excited. I watched this last week and I've been all over trying to get interviews with you three because uh, it's Halloween, my favorite time of year. And uh, I'm just excited about this movie. I think it's really original and a lot of fun. So lots of people here. So lots of questions. So um, I love the pitch for this movie. Listen to this. Four people enter a corn maze for Halloween and are picked off one by one by a twisted family who owns the scare attraction. Now, as actresses, when you heard a pitch like that, I mean, I would be like, where do I sign? What do I do? I mean, doesn't that sound like the funnest gig that you've had in a long time? Who wants to start? Amy? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, 100%. And of course, knowing that... Um, I was being considered for JAMA was like really exciting. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, uh, Tiana? I mean, I, I mean, I can just speak to the fact that this movie was the most fun thing to make and getting the audition for this, I was so excited. And especially because the role of Melanie was described as so, she had that kind of badass sort of thing going on. And um, I was able to utilize the fact that I boxed and stuff like that. So it was super fun for me. Well, you know, this movie is filled with horror stereotypes and Emily, Wendy's a cheerleader, right? And she's walking around in a cheerleader outfit the whole movie. Right, which is funny because she's actually not a cheerleader, which I love. I think that's so funny that, you know, the four of them, they're all actors and, you know, my character had an audition and then they wouldn't let me change. I think that's hysterical that yes, like when you look at it, you're like, oh, there's the blonde bimbo, but no, I wasn't at all, I love it. <laughs> yeah, to have the sex kitten in a horror film, you know? <laughs> and uh, did you guys audition for other characters or did you go in to read for something specific or did they say, you know, I think you're better for this character than the other? Um, well, actually, Oh, sorry. Oh, to you, though. <laughs> okay, sorry. Um, no, we all booked off of self tapes, and I'm pretty sure I know that I only um, booked, I, I only read for Mel Melanie. I only got that audition, and then booked straight off of that tape. It was so exciting. I don't know about you, Emily, but yeah. So when I was reading it, I didn't go for Melanie because she was described as like a uh, Michelle Rodriguez, and my character was a Tinkerbell with a pink streak in her hair, <laughs> and, and I was like. <laughs> that one I think <laughs> and, and Amy you're the queen of the corn maze that's how I describe your character and how long I love you, that how long did you spend there it seemed like the whole movie takes place there so by the end of the shoot you must have been I don't want to see another era corn in my life <laughs> yeah pretty much it was cold man and it was actually really creepy just you know the 6 p.m to 6 a.m these girls can testify to it as well that uh, genuinely, even just wandering around there, you're like, oh, I'm gonna go get like coffee or something like that, or a bottle of water. And you're like, uh, can someone come with me? <laughs> um, yeah, no, it's a really cool maze though. I mean, that location, it's like 60 acres or something, Guinness World Record, it's insane. It's a beautiful place actually. And I hear that other screen queens, you know, famous actresses and other horror films, they had to scream for their audition. Did you guys have to scream for yours? Oh, the cheerleader had to. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yep. uh, John Littlefield, what an intimidating guy. I mean, he just, he comes across bigger than life on the screen. I'm sure he's a sweetheart in person, but I mean, that was, he was such a great presence. Yeah, I, he was an amazing scene partner. I, especially when you get near the end of the movie, not gonna be any spoilers away, but there are some moments between me and John where he is actually just so terrifying. When he's in it, he's in it with you. And he, he got things out of me that were so necessary for the film. And I just loved working with him. And he definitely has that bigger than life and his voice, man, that voice is, you know, it's, it's a voice. <laughs> And it's really great to have you three here because uh, especially Tiana and Emily, uh, the special effects team really did a great job with you guys. Can you take me through a typical day? You know, I don't want to give any spoilers away, but you guys are uh, under some really horrific circumstances. Can you take me through a typical session and getting ready for those scenes? Tiana is a little bit different. So mine's really quick. Hers is longer, so I'm going to sneak in. Mine was very easy. Um, right. It, you know, again, no spoilers, but it was kind of just a contraption that I had to go on and then 
that was basically it for me. I had anything. Kiana, you can. Well, it's kind of <laughs> weird to say no spoilers because, you know, there's only four of you and you're going into a maze to be killed. So it's it's like, am I, which one's going to survive? Maybe that's that's the spoiler, but people are going to die in this and, and kind of quickly. But yeah, Tiana, you uh, you had a really horrific kind of ending here. Yeah, the makeup that I went through for that took about eight hours. Um, eight hours in prosthetics. It was really, really intense. I mean, it ended up looking great, obviously. Um, you can see it in the film, but yeah, prosthetics and just laying straight in the, and it was pretty cold there too. So I'm just like in my underwear, just laying there getting prosthetics for eight hours. It was really intense, but totally worth it. And Amy, uh, did you bond with your co-stars? Uh, because you were in a different part of the film. You were with all the freaks that were running the, the corn maze. And uh, you had some really unique costumes and makeup there too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, no, we, I think we bonded awesome. It was, it was great working with everyone. I think probably the hardest part for me um, because we did become friends and friendly and like all of that on set um, was when these two are going through some really dramatic stuff and I'm around for some of those things. It was like me, I had to like push my own self aside because I'm like, oh no, these girls inside. And I'm like, right, right, I'm Gemma, I'm ruthless. This is what I want, <laughs> you know? <laughs> and, and Emily, take me through, uh, tell me about Dante Yor. Tell me about the director's style. Gosh, Dante is so fantastic. I can't say enough good things about him. So Dante is really great because uh, it's a very, you always just feel very safe with Dante. Um, he allows you to try different things. Uh, you know, you can ask him anything and he'll go into depth with you if you have any questions. He's amazing. He's super easygoing. He's very smart. I mean, he made this amazing film. Um, he's lovely to work with. He's super fun. And I think the most important thing is that you really truly do feel safe. You feel safe to try things. You feel safe to kind of maybe make, uh, you know, yourself look a little silly. Um, but you know that you're in a safe place. It's great. He's, he's wonderful. And finally today, somebody tell me a great story about Mark S. Allen. You know, what's a great story from the set? He played a zombie in the in the movie, but I need to give me a, some dirt on the production with Mark S. Allen. <laughs> uh oh, no one's talking. I, <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I think, okay, I think one of my uh -oh. favorite things, um, it's not really dirt, but it was because of where we were filming. And Mark, of course, is a a personality like a celebrity right so um when we were around the corn maids and things like that especially as we were getting set up before we'd start shooting and everything um public people would be around and they'd be like oh it's Marcus Allen <laughs> and they were all starstruck and it was awesome and he was like oh yeah thanks there you go oh yeah I try to get an autograph <laughs> I try to get an autograph every time I'm near him he's impossible he's always mocked. yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. Well, this is his second horror film and you know, he's really got the genre down. So I can't wait to see what he does next. Hopefully we will all speak again, but congratulations on Fear Farm. Uh, it's right in time for Halloween. And uh, thank you all for talking to me today. Thank you so much. Well, make sure you come visit me in Las Vegas. We'd love to have you too. Definitely. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thanks Jeff.